Wow. Thank you, President Powers, Chairman Beckworth, Leslie Cedar, and the terrific Texas Exus staff. Uh, what a gracious day. And as I said earlier, the, one of the best things of this day is the parking spot, <laughs> which I'm counting on. Um, and this orange jacket's not too bad either. So um, congratulations to my fellow recipients. I am really humbled to be on this stage with each of you, and I'm really inspired by your lives. Our familial longhorn tree has deep roots, and it includes many, a lot of them are here tonight, grandparents, parents, my brother, aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, my wife's extended family, her father, her four sisters, and then my very six favorite longhorns, Laura Fraser Noctical, and her husband David, Charlie Fraser, Gracie Fraser, Will Fraser, and my wife Helen. And as I said in the video, it is true, the eyes of Texas truly have been on me all my, all my life and on my family. When I pulled out of Austin in 1980 in my U-Haul van headed to Galveston, I certainly would not have considered myself a distinguished alumnus, but I did leave here with my own eyes open to the scope of life's opportunities and clarity that was up to me to make something out of it. In retrospect, I consider my time in Austin as a sort of a personal commissioning. I felt I was sent forward from here with a sense of urgency to try to do good things. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall much be required. These timeless words from Luke have been central to my values in life. What a blessing this university has been for me, for our state, for our nation, and really this world. How much do we owe this special place? What's required of us to honor what has been given to us as graduates? As President Powers noted, we look up and read on the facade of our iconic main build building, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And we're inspired by those words. In the course of my personal journey, I've benefited not only from this wonderful institution, but many wonderful institutions, including the University of Texas Medical Branch, the Johns Hopkins Hospital, the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne, Australia, the Cleveland Clinic, the Texas Heart Institute, and for the last 19 years as a faculty member of the Baylor College of Medicine and practicing in our beloved Texas Children's Hospital. The truth about each of them, just like our University of Texas, is that their enduring success is not an accident. These institutions have purity of mission, principled visionary leadership, and palpable, continually renewed commitment to excellence. Thank you, President Powers, the academic and administrative leadership, and the faculty of University of Texas at Austin for your tenacity and the fundamentally critical mission of keeping this university moving forward as a university of the first class, a university of the highest order in education and in research, and very soon in medicine. What starts here truly must continue to change the world for those generations to come. I most humbly receive this award because of many, many others. I thank those many individuals who supported this nomination, particularly Dr. Jim Willerson here tonight, my wife's father, Dr. Denton Cooley, and a very special thank you to the Dean of Deans, Manuel Manny Eustiz, the Dean of the number one school of education in the United States. This award truly belongs to many people. It belongs to the passionate, talented, and dedicated people I work with every day at Texas Children's Hospital my office staff, my colleagues in surgery, anesthesia, cardiology, nursing, perfusion, critical care, our hospital trustees, our administration, our research team, our quality and outcomes team, the housekeepers, the maintenance staff, the food service, all these dedicated peoples. Days, nights, weekends, right now as we are here, they're looking after our most vulnerable and precious resource, our children. They all inspire me to be better every single day. This award belongs to the patients and their families who put their trust in me to heal little hearts. 
and in allowing me this privilege, they unknowingly heal and grow my own heart. And foremost, it belongs to my family, to my parents, and especially my mother, who brought me into this world 55 and a half years ago, about a thousand yards from here at St. David's Hospital, to my children, now all grown and very accomplished and truly outstanding in every way, and particularly to my wife and partner and advocate, companion for 30 years, for Helen, for her step steadfast love and support. Finally, thank you very much for what feels to me like a renewed commissioning. I know we still have many important things to do at Texas Children's Hospital to combat heart disease, cancer, child abuse, smoking, obesity, disparity in outcomes and quality, and healthcare access. So after this terrific weekend, and particularly after another smashing Longhorn victory tomorrow, We'll get back to work. As Ash Bell Smith, the first Surgeon General of the Texas Army, father of medicine in Texas, father of the University of Texas said, life has duties to perform to its last moment. This world is not a resting place. Man to be true to his destiny should die in his harness. Well, I'm not ready to give in just yet, so you'll find me back in my harness come Monday morning, but I think I will be sporting a burnt orange blazer. <laughs> Thank you all so, so very much. God bless you, God bless Texas, God bless uh, this university. Thank you.